Hi YouTube family, welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. It is a long weekend, the last long weekend before school reopen. Today is Saturday and the long weekend begin for us. I know my US friends are also celebrating a long weekend. So I wish everyone a happy, safe and wonderful long weekend. So our long weekend just begin. I'm going to share clippings of what we did on the weekend and starting today we're going for a drive. We're going to see where it takes us. Hubby is going to grab the girls some ice cream. When I say girls, I mean me too. <laughs> Am I getting one? I do love to have a nice ice cream cone once in a while. So today I'm going to get one and we're going to see where this drive takes us. So come on along with us and enjoy this evening with us. It is actually after seven and it is still bright outside. It is still sunny out and it usually get dark till around 8.39, sometime till 9, 9, 9.30. So I'm looking forward for what's left for summer and hope you guys are too. So let's go. So we just pick up our drinks and Jesse got a vanilla chai frappe. I had it before and it was nice. And Natalie got the same thing as well. My husband got a chocolate sundae which I'm gonna help him with and I like to try something different every time. I got a passion fruit, guava and pineapple smoothie. rich rich guava flavor which is beautiful I love guava mm. Mm. so rich you can taste a nice thick guava puree in here guava really dominate the pineapple and the passion fruit a little hint of um, passion fruit in there but guava is dominating everything I didn't realize Brampton Chinkuzi Park had the food truck festival so we came a good night it started on the 30th to September the 4th and we were lucky to come here while it's still on they had a live band and they had lots and lots of food trucks from around Toronto so I'm gonna show you guys all the trucks they have here it's kind of darkish but we can still recognize what they have here tonight. They had quite a bit of people here. It was so hard to find a parking, but I guess last night had more for the first night. Next year, I will try to come to the food truck festival earlier so we can get a better view and try to taste some of this delicious food that they have. I see some pretty good ones. They had quite a few food trucks here. They had Canadian food, American food. They had some West Indian smoothies that I see. And they had all kinds of different menus. They had sweet like ice creams, uh, churros, um, donuts and different kinds. So it's really nice to see that these food trucks are coming out and have a festival. I really enjoy walking through and see all the different kinds of food that they carry.
Let me know in the comment if you ever bought food from a food truck before. When I was single and used to work and didn't prepare lunch that day, once in a while I used to buy from the food truck that came to my workplace and I would get some nice warm lunches sometimes. Food truck has really become a big thing now and I'm really happy for all of these food truck owners. You can see the passion that they have for food. And this is the little kitty park. At night it's beautiful and bright. And this far close till 11, right? I just realized all the beautiful flowers are blooming nicely in this park, but it's too late for us to see them. I'm absolutely coming back tomorrow to capture all these beauty in here. Me and the girls are just playing around a little before we head back home. But stay tuned. Tomorrow I'm bringing you all back here to see these beautiful flowers in this park. So hi guys, it is Sunday and it is long weekend. We just came back from church, we had lunch, something for dinner so when I come back I'll finish it and I'm heading with hubby to the racetrack we like to go there and relax a bit the kids are resting because they get up early for church so we're gonna have some alone time there and we're taking you guys for a little clipping of the racetrack it always brings so much um, joy and uh, like peace of mind right it's relaxing it's like a relaxing time for us and the weather is beautiful. This is beginning of September. So happy new month of September. Wishing you all a blessed, safe, and smooth month of September. And come on down with us. Today is my mom's birthday, the 1st oh. of September. Is it? Yeah, so come on down with us and let us go to the racetrack for a bit. And for my mom, I know you're gonna watch this video it's gonna be after your birthday just want you to know that we love you we're sending distance hugs and kisses last year we were there with you this year unfortunately we are all the way here but enjoy your day and know that we love you not only on your birthday but every day so come on down with me guys anybody else is celebrating a birthday or anything anniversary we wish you a happy one big shout out to rosanna puran mall her brother is celebrating his birthday today so happy birthday to your brother as well uncle cool deep happy birthday to you and all those who are celebrating we just arrived here at the racetrack it is a beautiful day and it's kind of packed and race is about to start Another race is about to start, so this is the second one we're here for.
So we stick around for about two more races and then we went home to prepare our dinner. So we came home back and we made a chicken fried rice with some mango and cucumber salad. I also made a chickpea salad over the weekend and this is what it looks like. Some fresh vegetables, cucumbers from my garden, mint and herbs from the garden. So it is very refreshing and very, very tasty. So my friends, this is... A meal that I put together one of the days in the long weekend we made some nice chicken fried rice that I dove down with some pepper sauce I have some fresh vegetables in there like bora carrots green peas and some nice fresh ingredients I have my cabbage tomato fresh tomato from my garden and I made a chickpea salad my mouth is salivating let me taste for you all so I can't cook a meal or do a video if I'm eating some food and not taste for the viewers. So I'm gonna go in for a nice mouthful of the fried rice. Cheers. Mmm. I dip the pepper sauce with the fork in that mouthful was a very spicy one mm -mm -mm. i'm gonna take another mouthful of this fried rice it's so delicious the vegetables still have a crunch in there and it is so flavorful hope you all enjoy your long weekend for those who are celebrating one and for all those who had kids starting back school, I hope they had a good transition. And this is my chickpea salad with ripe mango, cucumber, olives. I have red, yellow, and orange bell pepper in there. Red onions, mint, and my garden fresh cucumber chairs. Mm. this is my chickpea salad right here mangoes and everything and that's a view of the plate with the fried rice stay tuned for little clippings of the rest of my long weekend so guys today is monday it is a holiday here and me and my husband never lose any opportunity to go for a morning walk so we're here in chinkuzi because it's a big park and it's beautiful with flowers and all that nice stuff so we like to walk in here because the atmosphere is beautiful i'm gonna be sharing with you all the nice beautiful flower on september the second let me share with you guys how beautiful it is in this park So guys, the beautiful flower patches starts from here and I'm gonna share with you all how nice it is. The sun is not out in this area. It's going off and on, off and on. So let's see as we go along in this park how beautiful the flowers are in the month of September. another patch here really nice and beautiful the way how they put the flowers together is so so nice look at that 
થતા these ones at night they look bright when the place is dark these ones right here and then they have that nice yellow one in the middle it's a beautiful contrast when the place is dark and I think that was the the whole idea to put these two together they really really know how to match the flowers up nicely this is beautiful Okay, and the sun came out. I like when the sun is out because you can get a better view of the of the flowers. So beautiful, guys. Look at this. Taking your morning walk in a park like this is so encouraging to do your walk and so peaceful. Guys, look at this, but I will give you all a close up just beauty around us oh my gosh nice colors even in the back here and the way they put these flowers together that's why they call brampton the flower city you know that yeah. brampton is called the flower city it's yeah and check this one out beautiful flowers a nice sunny morning but guys it is kind of chilly this morning so I have sweatpants on a nice warm sweater because it's kind of um, chilly this morning Hi. and look at this another one of those and I have to show you guys this one right here. Check this one. And look at the beauty here. Nature is just beautiful. With all the different colors. And I like that the sun came out again. This looks like a papaya tree but it's not. And yeah look at that look at the beauty all kinds of different flowers check this one out all like kinds the yeah i like how they set the different colors you know to contrast each other like the outer layer is different from the inner layer look at the beauty here oh my goodness this is so beautiful so all this we have right here in Brampton guys if you live close to Chinkuzi what is the intersection here it's Bramley and, uh, Queensway. Bramley and Queensway don't miss out all this beauty Queen Street, Queen Street. Queen Street and Bramley um, Chinkuzi Park you can always google it or put it in your GPS but it's a very nice place to come with your family we are here early in the morning so it is very peaceful just few people walking around and doing their morning exercise but this part is going to be full but so. in the afternoon it is jam packed we were here what saturday evening they had food truck festival and it was absolutely beautiful jam packed when there's something going on and most weekend in the summer they always have something going on it is very very um packed so try to come out and enjoy some of the beauty you have in your own neighborhood look at this one look at this one here and they have so many more they have like light pink bright pink they have different colors orange Look how nice they put these ones together.
and look at these these are so beautiful they have them on both sides even up these ones such a beautiful combination of flowers in this area when you sit here you won't want to leave trust me if you're a nature person you're gonna love this absolutely beautiful and why we go crazy for flowers and nature because this is September and already heading for the cold month this is a like cooler morning we're very excited when we can um, come out and enjoy the beauty of the flowers and nature it's kind of windy this morning but it's still beautiful when the sun is out while i'm here in this beautiful scenery i have a birthday shout out for a beautiful mama elizabeth who's celebrating 96 years young we would like to wish her a happy happy healthy strong birthday in god's richest blessing birthday greetings are coming from sister donna from me and my family and from the youtube family sending lots of hugs and kisses to mama elizabeth what a beautiful age to celebrate i would love to sit down and chit chat with mama elizabeth to gain some of her knowledge and wisdom stop to take a few pictures and then we will continue with our walk and I'll keep you guys posted for the rest of the day and this is one of my favorite bridge to go over when I come to this park under this bridge the water is always running here and i'm gonna take you guys to show you where this water is coming from mm -hmm.
and this spot is a beautiful spot where you can get to see the fountain the pond and all the ducks over here just love to hear the sound of the water listen to that while watching these ducks swim look how many of them are over here coming from to that tree you see a rainbow right behind the falls that fountain when you go back there so many ducks and squirrels <laughs> Oh boy. Lots and lots of ducks. And look at this guy here. They're everywhere in this park. This is their home. I guess he hide a knot and he's checking for it now. And here is the Rose of Sharon. They have two different color here. You see? They have this one here and then they have this beautiful lilac color. This is more on the pinkish side. There's a lot of different color of Rose of Sharon. Look, look, look. They're out this morning looking for their breakfast. Guys, the sheep and the llamas are out. Everything is out. I see over here have the goats. Oh my goodness. Guys, look, the squirrel is fighting to open a food box. He's really trying hard to get into the box. My husband said he went to the restaurant and bought a takeout. the llama guys and there's a goat and I see a sheep in there as well and there's a kitty cat here goats are over there in their pen there's one out have pony here there's one here and one over there they usually have a pony ride in the afternoon when it's busy okay. well last you saw a don donkey in Canada so it become really really windy and my eyes are running, my nose is running, so we're heading home now, we're gonna go make breakfast and we're gonna see what the rest of the day looks like, so stick around until I end the video. So after our nice morning walk, we came back and made some scrambled egg, some potato fries. I had some leftover fish choker and some plantain. This is what we're gonna have for breakfast. So hi guys, it's me again. And Matthew, Jessica and I are going to Vaughn Mills Mall. Natalie decides she's gonna stay home and get herself together for school tomorrow. And hubby is staying with her. So we're out and about again. And we're gonna take you guys in with us the parking lot is packed jam packed we couldn't find any parking here 
so we had to go across the road where there was an empty parking lot in a plaza and park there because we were driving around for a while and I didn't want to do that anymore so here we are and it's still beautiful and sunny but it's kind of windy today so let's go to Vaughn Mills so guys we're here in the mall and it's so so busy and packed I'm gonna give a quick glimpse and then we will continue Guys, we had a nice day shopping at the mall. This Matthew's behind me with his hands full. Jessica's here, and I have my big bag on my shoulder. It is still bright out, and we're heading home. We have to go find our parking now. And thank you all so much for coming along with me on this long weekend. I hope you had a nice long weekend. For all the kids who are starting back school, we wish them a smooth and successful school semester. And you guys take care. God bless. We will catch you guys 